Hello and welcome to FF17 Mod Reviews and a review of the Canadian Prairies preview map. So this isn't complete. It's a 4K map and it's my first look. I haven't even wandered around it, so let's have a look together. So looks very familiar to the other Canadian maps. Off the bat. These look familiar. A water fertilizer and fuel. Our silo looks very familiar and our lotus boards look all the same kind of thing. Slightly different layout but still the same. So expect things to change but this is basically the principle of the map. So you must be sheep. Pigs, a very clean enclosure, I have to say. We have cows over here. Don't know what you are. What's your pig, whatever you are. So there's our cows. Bunker, of course. Milk or milk? There. Hay barn. Silage and digestate. Mixers. I'd like me to comment what this one is. Compost and bit beet pulp. The last time I remember struggling to get the beet pulp in there in the first place. So potato wash. Oh four this time. Last time there was only three, so what have we got? No markers yet. Okay, so what are you for? You're for potatoes. So you were potatoes. Or oh, steam potatoes. Okay. So wasp potatoes, steam potatoes, wasp beets. Wash carrots, washed onions, onions, okay, that's different. Compost master, so that's all the same as what we were used to on the farm. Heading over this way. Me poop, diesel, milk pellets, seed and fertilizer production, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, seed. Okay. And over here we have pallets of onions, silage pallets. There's a computer. So this one. Silage computer pallets. Okay, find me a trigger. There we go. Right, soya beans equals soya bean pallets, silage, bale. Okay, That's slightly different. 
Right, so that is our starting point. Now we are 4K, so we have an enormous map. We do have all the kind of standard additional crop types you come on Canadian maps. We have items in storage and lots of places to sell. Lots of places to sell. Too many to list. That was an awful lot. We have and then we have lots and lots and lots and lots. Crikey. Trying to figure out where to go is gonna be difficult. But we have all sorts of things available to do. Plenty to keep you busy. No need for any um place holes unless you really want it. So with that in mind we head over to let's just take a wander. Let's head towards the town centre. This is a large map, so I'm gonna run a little bit. Don't want to be that big, that big kick. So let's get an idea of so there's our field to be own, one in front of us and that one there, and the one over the other side of the yard. We'll head over towards the um, production areas. This is definitely the prairies. Big and flat soil production, I can see straight away. I can see the BGA, I can see fuel production at the refinery. Crikey, this is an industrial area. Yeah. Beer factory. Yep. It's a beer factory. So anything with a basket is production. So plenty of space around this one to run around. There we go. Sugar beets, water, sugar, there's a sugar factory. Yeah, because the ship. Lots of so one, two, three, four, five, ten bays for silage. Crikey. Chaffing. Milk factory, pallets, wood, wood chips, an ore dealer, sales point, another sales point silo. Fuel point, sales point, two orchards on that side, on that side, that's handy, that's better, well, it's a bit better, but last experience of the orchards are all in different corners of the map. Took forever to get to back and forth to fill water up. Plenty of trees. My god, there's plenty of trees. Wow. Mind you, this is Canada, I guess. So, if I didn't see trees in Canada, I'd be a bit surprised. Interesting. Nice pond. No barrier, so you can't get into it. Maybe they encourage you to do the trees. Let's get into it. But piles around the trees, not just planted into a field this time, which is quite nice. Okay, so head all, keep heading towards field twenty-one. Crikey. 
Okay. Nice and flat. If you like flat, that is. More of our silos for fuel, etc. So, there's a silo on the railway line. Wood chip sales. <coughs> More if you get stuck. Okay. Large area if you wish to put any placeables on there. So if you really feel the need to do more, feel free, crack on. Oh my god, that's huge. Right, what have we got? Okay. Wood chips, logs, fire starts and coals. More production, more space if you wish to, don't wish to, more wood production, ah, that's clever, that's a nice idea, compost on site for your greenhouses, remember compost, you do need compost, you do need pallets, etc to grow these. There you go. Empty pallets, compost, and water. Again, there's no water. There's no free water. Don't you get free water in Canada? Well, I know you have to pay for it as such, but surely. Surely we can put free water on a map. Right. Wait, one second. I'm just going to put the icon on that field. I want to see how much it costs. Okay, this is the biggest field. Oh, good is, but on the golden nugget. 14 million 510 hours to complete <coughs> I think you might be setting workers off in that field if you ever bought it so so that's all our production up there so this is milk cells down there let's see what's going on down that end then So bucket loads of grass. Grass verges are huge. South point. There you go, if you run out of fuel is that trap? Just there. So massive grass verges again. I think this is a. What's this then? Ah, South Point. Okay, that's a South Point. More seed, etc. Okay, Phil 22 is keep, keeps going. There's still fill 22. I think you can fill a trailer. 100,000 litre trailer just by doing one length of the field. And don't part, plant lettuce or something. That'll take forever. Right. I think I found some free water. And then map. Right. Looks like there's free water down this end of the map. But that's a long way to transport it. 
to all the places we need to go to. But it is free. Okay, so. Quick trip past the dock area. And it just keeps going on. And on. And on. Now one thing an author could do for this map is put, um, like wind. So I'm pretty sure it'd be extraordinarily windy on this map sometimes. It'd be nice to have, um, difference in sound on the wind. So if anyone's listening to that, it's just a suggestion. I'm not saying you should. Large place below if you chose to. We have production up here of some link. When we finally get there. Let me MP again. We get empty okay. um, pallets, barley, wheat, water, sunflower, equal to bread. It's a lot of product just for bread. Green more greenery. And then we'll back up. So both of the greenhouses are together. Greenhouses, orchards are together. Remember, it's something like 500,000 litres of water that's required to fill those tanks up entirely. So you will be there for quite a while. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What are you? What are you? I think just a large storage area. No, I'm just being to you, haven't I? Don't. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and let me take a left. I think. Yep. Now, if anyone can actually see our farm yet, it is just over there. So, so I'm walking. The back of the farm. Which is just here. So, if you fancy a challenge, for single player this will be a huge challenge. But if you fancy a big map or lots of things to do, you can't go too wrong with Canadian Prairies. So, the link will be in the description. If you like the video, click a like. If you wish to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you wish to make a comment, feel free. Otherwise, I will make another video shortly. Thank you guys and goodbye.